Okay, we are back with another review, and today we got another pop from my Mandalorian collection. So, without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Today, we are checking out the Armorer Mandalorian. Uh, now, this is, again, another common in the wave. We have been reviewing all of the Mandalorian pops here. I am complete up to this point. I do know that the uh, one that they're going to be dropping that I do not have is going to be uh, Cara Dune, I believe, with a machine gun or a heavy, heavy machine gun. But again, I haven't dropped all the videos for the whole wave, but I do have most of the reviews recorded, but I have all the pops, which is great. So um, it, they are a pop that you need to kind of get either when they drop, um, because if you're not going to do that and you're going to wait and you're going to play the long game with these, the price is just going to keep going up especially on all the Mandalorian pops, like the Covert, the Armor, the Heavy Infantry, the Mandalorian with the Rifle, uh, the Mandalorian IG-11 2-pack, um, the Mandalorian uh, exclusive from Amazon with the Beskar Steel Helmet, Beskar Outfit, the Chrome one. Then uh, there's also going to be the Target one, which is actually dropping uh, at the end of the February, I believe, with the uh, Blaster. He's got the Blaster with Flame coming out. So yeah, exactly. They're they're dropping a lot of these, but make sure you grab the Mandalorian ones first. These other ones like the Client Grief Karga, the the Q9, uh, those are going to be pops. Even the Off World Jawa, maybe those are going to be pops that are going to basically be um, ones that you'd want to scoop up last. But I would not play the long game on any of the Mandalorian uh, exclusives or pops that are in this wave. So again, with that being said, let's check this one out the box. Uh, because I bought the NYCC exclusive when it actually dropped and now it's over $150 so again it's something you don't want to sleep on and be like oh, I'm playing the long game on this there is no long game this is the this is the this is the start of the game so if you're not in the game from the start it's just going to cost you more money to get in the game so uh, people are going to be loving Star Wars forever I mean these these things are multi-generational the some of these lines uh, especially when it comes to like comic books or um, Star Wars pops, I guess you could say. Let's back this up a little bit, actually. We went a little bit too much. Uh, you know me, I like to crank it down. I like to crank my pops down, especially these um, Star Wars or, or Marvel ones, because they're all bobbleheads. So I like to crank them down to the point where they kind of look like an actual figure uh, versus it being a bobblehead. I mean, I know it's bobbling right now, but once it stops bobbling, it actually looks like a figure. You don't see the whole neck and the spring. So I like to crank her down. But she's got... Um, She's got a chest plate very similar to the Mando's original uh, chest plate. She has um, a little skirt on. She has some booties. Everything's painted differently. Her gauntlets are like welder's gauntlets for like temperature. You can kind of see the way that patterning is right there. And then you also have the hammer right here for her blacksmithing or her armoring techniques. Now we have, it looks like, multiple colors of gold on the helmet here. We have this inset of bronze along with the outer striping and this solidary boundary is gonna be all of a gold type brass color. And then we have these nice horns on top. So it's just like a nice play on the Mandalorian style helmet, which is cool. It has the side parts, the back part, and it's got these little spikes on top, which is totally cool. Now this is a really cool character in the particular show. Uh, which is awesome because uh, she definitely is the one that crafts all of his Beskar steel armor that you see in the show where he's at, uh, I guess at the end of season one, which is with the black and Beskar um, basically get up. Because when he started off, he had more of an earthy tone to him. He had more of these tans and grays, um, you know, and the, uh, what is it, like a beige color, kind of like how she has the color of her shoulder, her shoulder pads or this fur garb. There was a lot of that on... Uh, the Mandalorian's original suit, the OG Mandalorian suit, if you would. So, um, but yeah, that's the one that's actually worth a ton of money. The one that's from the NYCC one. And then there's the common one. Um, the common one is worth, I mean, pretty good for a common. I mean, it's over $20 now. It's just a common, but, um, the NYCC one is just astronomical in how far it take, has taken off. So, but that's the original garb. It's not the new best guard look, which is great. So this is the armorer from the Mandalorian line. Let me know down in the comments below. Did you pick up the armorer? Are you collecting only the Mandalorians? I know some people only collect Vader, Boba Fett, 
Uh, there's obviously going to be people that only collect the Mandalorian. Nobody probably wants the, the client or uh, any of the other uh, random ones on here like Grief Karga or probably Cara Dune or Coil. Uh, some of the characters that were only in there for a few episodes. I imagine some people are just collecting this, the Mandalorian lines. I mean, even the Q9 uh, little you know, bug bot. That one, I mean, I imagine people are probably passing on as well. Off world Jawas kind of cool because uh, there are, you know, only a few Jawas they have actually dropped, and they're also going to be dropping a Futura Jawa. I imagine people probably would pick up that one in the Incinerator Trooper, but um, I don't know. I don't imagine these people pops are going to be scooped up too much, uh, especially ones that are only in a few episodes. So, with that being said, let me know down in the comments below about the armor. Did you pick it up? Are you collecting the Mandalorian Pops? Uh, what's your type of collecting habits with this Mandalorian waves that are dropping right here? So let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that and have a great rest of your day.